Now we shall see how to write C code in MPLAB IDE and generate the X file which is the file to be fused onto the PIC microcontroller. To start with create a folder uh, say inside D drive create a folder say PIC test inside D drive inside this folder we are going to store all our projects again create a new folder for your first project say LED blink so we have created a folder inside uh, D drive pick test inside which another folder we have created LED blink this is our first project now open up the MPLAB IDE This is the welcome window of MPLAB IDE. One untitled page is there. This is the project space. And another output window is there. Click on project. And click project wizard. Then click next. We have to select the device. We are going to use pick 16F877A which is a 40 pin uh, microcontroller select the device and then click on next next step is the selection of C compiler already we have installed high tech C in C drive so now MPLAB automatically detects it and displays under active tool suite you can see the high tech universal tool suite inside active tool suite select that and its location is automatically displayed it is under C program files high tech software pick C it is 9.83 version click next now you have to create the new project file already we have created a folder inside D drive browse to that location browse to the location D drive inside uh, we have created pick test LED blink is our first project click on that and then provide a file name let us give blink LED click save don't give any extensions to the project blink LED just give the name project file name click on next next step is to add some existing files for this project uh, nothing is needed so click on next now the selected parameters are uh, given in the summary that is the device selected is pic 16 of 877a and the C compiler is high tech universal tool suit and the file location is uh, inside D drive click on finish now if you see the uh, project folder inside D LED blink is the project we have created inside that uh, inside that folder you can see three files created automatically by the MPLAB ID one is the MCP file which is the MPLAB project file second one is the make file dot mcs file and the third one is the mcw workspace file these three files are automatically created by the mplab id now we are going to write our c code inside mplab id click file and then new yeah untitled file opens now click file and save as LED blink dot C this dot C is important indicating that it is a C file and not an assembly file click on save now if you open the D drive pick test project uh, folder you can see the LED blink dot C file
inside this window you can write your C program this is the C program to blink one LED connected to the RA0 point of uh, PIC 16 of 877A RA0 is the pin 2 of uh, PIC 16 of 877A so we are connecting a LED to that point and through the program we are going to blink it that is making the LED on for uh, 500 millisecond and then again off for 500 millisecond this include statement is the header file inclusion it is related to high tech C compiler so include htc dot h will understand whatever ports you are giving apart from the C commands uh, C program and define crystal frequency is the crystal we are going to use to oscillate the controller IC 20 E6 means 20 followed by 6 zeros that is 20 megahertz and this is the configuration file this is very important and it should be exported along with the hex file otherwise uh, your uh, otherwise your program will work in simulator or not in the existing hardware this is the configuration code we are given a value of uh, hex value of 3f3 how to achieve this value you just go to configure and then select configuration bits inside that you can change the oscillator selection bits and watchdog timer and other selections to change the bits you just uncheck the configuration bit set code now you can modify the codes we are using an external oscillator of 20 MHz so select a high frequency oscillator HS oscillator if it is in RC oscillator then your uh, project won't work this is very important so select if you are using an external board with uh, 20 megahertz crystal or any other crystal high value crystal you select HS oscillator and uh, next thing is uh, watchdog timer we are going to disable this timer and power of timer also disabled brownout reset enable bit is disabled and other settings you leave it as it is now if you check up the value of this uh, selections it is 3F3A this is the hex code we are using it in the configuration code this is the main function this main function returns uh, an integer value and it takes uh, no argument so we are using void with this command we are making the RA0 as output that is the LSB as output and all other bits as uh, input a 1 will uh, indicate as uh, input and a 0 makes it an output this is the never ending loop for inside the loop we are making the RA0 bit uh, high for a period of 500 millisecond and after that we are making it again as uh, low for another 500 millisecond so LED will start blinking now press ctrl s to save that file now the C file has to be added under source files so right click on source file and then click add files select the LED blink.c file we have created now and then click open now you can see the LED blink.c file under the source file you can click on this uh, black square with uh, red dot to build or under project you can click build or just you can press F10 now build is successful if you see inside your project folder you can see a hex file along with all other support files 
you can see a hex file created this is the file you are going to fuse onto the microcontroller 